guess they uh, were right on the snow. It's definitely snowed. Not too much, but it's enough to make it lousy. So I'm gonna go do an inspection right now. The wife's gonna dry me. Or four by four. Or I'll be able to drive whatever she has. Clean up. Try to walk a little bit here. Grab my tools. Must have uh, snowed a few inches, anyways. Looks like a few inches. Okay. Taking an inspection here. 60s style house. All the floors are all wobbly. Looks like a thing settled everywhere. It's a master bedroom. The crackhead was living here, it looks like in the corner here. Okay, so just gonna do a little walkthrough. It's got a basement, but the basement looks like it's been renovated a bit. It's a newer type of uh, fridge. Hmm. It's colder in here than outside. It's weird how these houses are. It's totally freezing in here. Outside is warm. In the washroom there. Look how the floor is all cracks, cracks in the floor. It's just been kind of bowing and settling. It's a bicycle wheel. Scrap life, maybe, maybe not. There's a garage here, someone left the bike behind, but it's been sitting for a while, it's got a flat tire. This hooligan super cycle uh, garage is all rotted inside, block walls on the outside. But I don't want to go back in there. I got all the prickle bushes where it got pricked a couple times. It's a pretty long house. It had a hot tub, it looks like, over there. Balcony and all that. So right now, but this property here is probably worth probably six or seven million dollars, just this land. Never mind this eyesore of a house. Six million dollars. Hmm. It's quite the dump, I'll tell you. Looks like it's been empty for a while. It's probably a fancy house at one time. Oh yeah, this this is a large property. It's probably like more like eight million dollars minimum. Look how long it is. It's like the road's right there. And way goes that way, so it's probably like at least half an acre or more. Pretty big piece of land. I'm not sure if you can subdivide this or not, but I'd say eight million dollars in this area, maybe up to ten million dollars. Depends what you can build. Only the rich can afford. Okay, let's uh, just take a look downstairs. I'll tell you, it was probably nice at one time. It was probably like a 60s high-end house, you know, at one time. And nice landscaping, probably. Looked like a probably forest area. And now it's like it's overgrown, run down. Total eyesore for the area. But like I say, um, see what they, these houses are. All the roof, look at this, it's all rotted away. It goes, still goes down to those trees there, so it's a big property, old, 
old area. So we'll take a look downstairs. Okay, down the stairs we go. All new drywall can tell it's got date codes on these drywall so not too worried about the dust you can tell it's brand new but anyways upstairs is 60s you can tell I went I did a little walk through here quickly for a video there's some spider webs everywhere I can see them I feel them on my face Ugh, right in the nose Spider webs right there, a little storage area. Play on the stairs. Keyboard. Cut all the wires in the house, still has power on it, but they'll cut all the wires out. See that? The grounding wire, everything's cut. Some asbestos on the pipes here, I can see. Hmm. No, no treasures here that I can see. Pretty cool space area here. Pretty all let's go further down a bit there looks like almost like a work area for spider webs hmm. almost like it had a little garage at one time or something here This thing is hmm. yeah, okay, that's that closet from the other side. Hmm. It's almost like an extension here a little bit. Hmm. Okay, well, not much down in this section here. And dodge spider webs. Okay, that's it. Pretty basic tour. I bet she was all unfinished at one time down here mostly. I mean, this renovated. 20 30 years ago, they put a little renovated all. I guess that's what I'm thinking, judging by the drywall and all that. Yeah, that's that closet. I was wondering what it was. So I took the speakers out, speaker wire here. Took the speakers out. Okay, let's continue this inspection. The sooner I'm muddy here, the more happy I'll be because I don't see anything great here at all. Okay, back in the building here, uh, I see something over here, I'm not sure what that is, if there's something overgrown in here, like a little shack, or maybe there's a pool in here, not really sure what, what's there, I found an iPod sitting in the, in the grass here, these have hard drives actually, real hard drives, hmm, not sure what that is there. Is that the neighbor? Maybe the neighbor's property. That's probably what it is. Yeah, okay. Looks a little newer. I think he had a neighbor's house. Okay. That's good. That tree's just hanging here. Look at that. Wow, look at that tree. How it just grew. 
Look at these trees, amazing. They're just kind of how oh, they're bent over. Look at that. They branch in all directions. Four directions there, and then two this way. It's tagged. I, is that what's that mean? Was tagged. It's this monkey tree, little monkey tree. The tag broke. Let's put it here so it doesn't get lost. But it says a monkey tree. I don't understand why that says monkey tree. It's definitely not a monkey tree. But it is a different looking kind of tree. Hmm. Funny, there's no, nothing, no, not many leaves or any kind of branches coming out of it. It's just long and skinny. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is, but anyways, I think it's stamped wrong. So monkey tree, monkey trees are really, really nice. Look at it, they're huge trees. They go forever. They must be made. I think they're maples or something. Maples or. Yeah, I think they're maples, I believe. I'm not sure, but... Anyways, what else is there? Anything else here around the yard? Compost thing there. Here's another one. Hey, let's see what it is. So is there... It still says monkey tree on there, which is stupid. I don't know. Okay, anyways start getting my samples now I, I already drew the floor plan of the house on the top floor I gotta draw like a, a layout and then show where the samples came from let's go back here it's a little bit overgrown I already got my hand scratched like hell for these prickles uh, jacuzzi jacuzzi over there hmm. I don't bring any cutters or nothing. Yeah, it's the neighbor's yard. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's keep going. Here, uh, I'm just doing a little, uh, gonna do a little strip down on, uh, it's in a, like office connect or something, a little office, um, little connecting thing with 16 ports. But anyways, uh, what I want to do is just first uh, show you a couple things here. These are uh, some of my, uh, uh, I've just been kind of like lately uh, taking some low grade boards and taking some of the uh, MLCCs out, monolithic capacitors out, and what I'm doing is, I mean they're just like grains, of basically like um, even smaller than rice, they're not small, but they uh, slowly add up and you know, I've been picking a few lately. On things that I want to just scrap just I can't sell the boards anyway so you know some things I'll pop them off these are tantalums the yellow ones that have the line on one side um, I have tons and tons of boards this is just just something I've been playing around on my spare time I had those um those Apple or the cell phone not cell phone but they're actually like cordless phone phone boards and I went picked a bunch of stuff off these are black tantalums here capacitors and these are some of the IC chips that I've been picking around so far these were like the Sony that came with the PlayStation and stuff I was doing a little bit of research about some of these uh, chips um, you, you want to get the chips um, prior to 2002 after 2002 a lot of companies went especially in Japan they use lots of like gold bonding wires so what happened was a competition was China and um, other countries that were opening new factories and they were using copper wire as bonding wires. And there's issues about copper wire being too hard and scratching uh, uh, the components there and causing problems on the manufacturing uh, process. But uh, gold is a lot softer material, so less chance of damaging the material inside. But um, basically, Japan still does gold bonding wires, but since the competition's fierce, they slowly cha changed over later. But if you're finding um, chips made in Japan, 
good chance they're going to be uh, gold bonding wires versus anything from China. Um, might have been Taiwan, China, something like that, right? But Sony's, I guess, is Japan, I believe. This one says Hong Kong on the chip, but uh, Sony's a good product, right? Sony's been very reliable. Um, it's possible there's bonding wires in that. I'm not sure. That's an old PlayStation, so that's a good possibility. Here's another one. This is Japan. So you want to look for uh, chips that are from Japan. Because Japan is... Uh, they took a long time to change your factories over. So anyways, um, also got a flashlight here. I got it from... Uh, where is it from? Ace Industrial Supply. They gave it to me as a gift. It was the second time they gave me a flashlight. But it's actually kind of a cool flashlight. It telescopes out. Right? No batteries, but... So if you're working on stuff, you can adjust it. Uh, you know, just weird things like that. It's kind of a cool little thing. Looks uh, pretty deluxe. Could be a battery near possible, but... Not sure how it opens. But uh, I have one in the car. The wife likes it. Oh yeah, there, okay, there is a piece of tape on the battery. Looks like it takes a really tiny battery. That's LR44. So I don't know what kind of a performance will get on the battery, but... Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, it's pretty bright. You can see that. So it looks like it's got three LEDs in it. It's actually quite bright. Right? Anyways, it was a free gift here. It's probably like a $15 flashlight, I think. But Ace Industrial Supply, if you want to order stuff, they're pretty good. They ship stuff to your door. They used to be based uh, out of California, but I think they have a supplier in Canada now. So I order my Sawzall blades and different type of uh, blades and all sorts of accessories, gloves from them. And they negotiate. You can negotiate a price. You tell your price and you kind of dick around and... and I got a sales guy that calls me every few months and says, hey, what do you need? And I say, blah, blah, blah. And they give me, okay. They tell me a price. I say, well, look, man, you know, a little cheaper. And then they, they do stuff for you. Okay. So let's uh, let's start pulling this thing apart here. This thing's a HPE Office Connect 1420 Series Switch. It's got uh, 16 gold-plated uh, jacks in here. So let me see. I didn't take no screws apart yet, so uh, this video may get released when our next sto storm, they're talking about some snow coming, so I figured I might as well have some something to put on, besides me shoveling snow or playing with my cats, but anyways, we'll see what's in here. Um, I got today, um, actually earlier today, it's like 3.30, no, 2, two what's that say? Yeah, 2.30 two in the morning, actually. But I got that to my garbage pickup the other day. But he didn't tell him if it worked or not, so it may not work. That's the only problem is I don't really know. But I looked at the retail price, they're 169 brand new. That's working brand new with the warranty. Does it work? We don't know. And I'll figure how to open it up. pretty straightforward we will see nothing too, too complicated here to open it but let's slide out there it is it slides hmm. I just don't want to I don't want to break it because they may want to test it but if I have to I'll give it some brute force Bizarre, why well, it's not those screws, two screws there. Hmm. It's probably something simple, but hmm. something on this leg here, no, nothing on the leg. This just doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, it's just snapped in there, so. 
you know, patience, right? Okay. It's a little bit hard to get out. So basically, we just got the um, the lighting stuff here. Dent it up a bit, but that's okay. I'll, I'll probably just scrap it anyways. But so you have a plug here. I don't see any gold plating on the plug at all. It's probably some possible LEDs in here, or just a couple bar lights. Okay, so we just got a little power supply here. A little transformer, transistor, another coil transformer. Got an IC, two IC chips here. Pretty, pretty basic power board. Hmm. Not seeing any IC chips here. I see one IC chip here. Oops. Losing a bunch of pieces here. So I'm seeing one one main IC chip. It's almost like a, a CPU almost. Broadcom. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it'd be a little more impressive than that, but so to be honest, it's pretty basic. It's got a real nice heat sink here. Quite nice. I'm not seeing really much. Um, there's some more like resistors. Yeah, they're all resistors here. Yeah, these are all resistors along here. You can see that resistors. It's your main chip here. And then we have a little coil here with copper winding. I just wonder if there's any anything on the bottom. Nothing on the bottom. No IC chips. Just uh, solder joints. Hmm. Yeah, I just wonder if that chip would even, would there be any gold in that chip? I don't know. It doesn't have any gold corner. It's not a gold corner chip or anything. It's the basic chip. Hmm. But you'll still have a lot of gold plating here, which is quite nice. All in here. Okay, so I don't see too much in here, to be honest. Um... I'm not seeing lots of IC chips or big corner chips or no tantalums. I see uh, some MLCs here. The one, two, three. Three bigger ones, size of grain of rice, and the rest are so small you could barely see them. Uh, there's some colored capacitors here. I don't know. There are blue ones. They're probably, I don't know, sometimes they could contain silver, but silver is really not that valuable it takes a lot of this stuff to make any silver anyways so regardless if it contains silver or not it's just not very little okay so that's it oh yeah here's a few more mlccs there's one two three so these are sizable grain of rice a couple that half the size of rice two or three and the rest is just just like flakes of sand basically very small Okay, so that's that's a wrap on this one. Um, I was hoping to be more sophisticated, but this being a up-to-date type um, switching thing, uh, the technology is it's a real powerful chip, possibly compared to an older one where it had more IC chips, more more processing with more different chips. So maybe that could be the reason. But if anybody knows anything about this, I'll, I'll name the chip out here. Broadcom, it's a BCM5333 something, whatever. It's too many threes in there, it's like 10 threes in there. Uh, it's like a TE1-1705 and a P10 and a 589-05P3A. I just wonder if there's any gold in there or not. Not pretty sure on that one. But anyways, that's a wrap on that one. Let me open the next item here. Uh, next thing will be end up being... We'll do it right now. Throw it down there. This is projector. I don't know what's really in here in this projector, but it's a uh, Epson. My kid said the bulb was burnt out, but I just don't understand. If you read it here, it says LCD. So that's liquid crystal display. So I'm not sure how this thing would do that. Like, is there some sort of display inside or? You know, usually um, some of these have a DLP chip in there. There's a warning, don't throw in the garbage, blah, 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 like the other thing. It just tells you that. 
never will be cover projector except the lamp and filter covers okay so let me just uh unscrew some of this here find out where i can find the screws just to see what what this exactly in here can you stand by while i just uh, open a few screws and just kind of get started here because i'm not really sure exactly i want to see a few screws there's a few here and there but stand by okay so i managed to take a few screws out there's like five in the bottom there's a couple on the side here so this is like a bulb assembly i would think feels like maybe aluminum or something this little piece here but well, i see another screw here it's actually three there three in the top here I see lots of people scrap these all the time. I was watching some videos to get tons of these, so they must eventually break down or get outdated or something. But hmm. sounds so dramatic, but I got all the screws out, so. There's probably little clips or something in there. Okay. Oh, come on, what's going on here? Let's oh, screw here inside. Oh, there it is. Okay. Lonely screw. There it is. Pull this out here. Pull this off there. Okay, so basically, just a bunch of switching controls here. Nothing special. Okay, what do we have here? It doesn't looks like a gold corner, but Epson Japan. Okay. So you got a pretty decent board, I think, here. There's a lot of stuff on here. There's a MLCCs here, size of a grain of rice. There's a gold crystal oscillator right there. Hmm. There's a lot of miniature, miniature components. You just can't. I don't know how they would put them on the board, they're just so small, but see I would just pull like the easy stuff off. Like this chip, it would, all these chips are probably going to be good. Good for probably gold recover possibly. You may have gold bonding wires. I mean it's hard to say. I was hoping, like I said, I'm looking for a DLP chip, but you know, uh, I've been looking at big screens and stuff, but I I just I see them all the time on the side road. I just don't have the guts to rip them apart in front of a guy's house. If it was an alley, maybe it's a little bit better chance, but most houses in Surrey they don't have alleys, so and they're kind of sitting like propped up near the garbage. But once you start taking it apart, you know the owners will probably freak out and say, "Well, you have to take it all, right?" Then you're stuck with 400 pounds of wood and garbage, you know. So maybe on spring cleanup. I'll do maybe in Ladner if they have one again this year. Then I can get in there and uh, work it. I don't know how these repair guys deal the stuff. somewhere oh, and the ribbons there okay okay I pulled this part out here but the screws never released there it is okay it's turning okay so that's one side of the board the other side here is looks like it's got a 
another uh, another kind of a f almost like a flat pack, some sort of IC, and then it's almost like power transistors here. I'm not sure what those are, but a couple of smaller ICs. Is it all gold plating or not? Let me see here. A mm, mm, little bit of gold plating there. You got better gold plating there. Hmm. Okay, so board is pretty decent. I think there's going to be some gold recovery materials here. Maybe silver, palladium, possibly. I'm not seeing any tantalums, but. I don't know, this one this might be a... You don't see no, no tantalums at all that I can tell. Hmm. Okay, what else is in this thing here? The little power board is right here. Yeah, it's uh, sure a lot of material in here. It's really compact. It's a fan on that side. Let's go take some more stuff apart here and see exactly what's all under all this. I'm not expecting much more stuff than I found. It's like there's a little electrical mortar over here. Oops. Electrical mortar over there. Some copper windings. Yeah, like I say, I'm looking for a DLP chip. Just don't know if these have those. Or do some of them have them, but... I don't think this will have it, but oh, look how, look how fancy that is! Wow, look at all the lenses here. Look at my screwdriver. So you you got your different color lights, okay? So lights bending like at different angles. So that's pretty spectacular. Hmm. Look at all this. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. So you got a mirror, mirror, a lens, another lens. You got some sort of filtered glass, another lens, a glass, a lens, and a mirror, and multiple layers of glass again. Well, that is bizarre. So I don't know how to get LCD out of this. Like, a, you know, it's not like a TV set or nothing. Look at that piece of glass here. Is that awesome or what? Hmm. So you got glass in there. You can make uh, excellent magnifying glass. Um, another glass here. I'm just curious about. Uh, Kid said it needs a light bulb. I don't know what kind of light bulb it would take. Uh, I guess he's just guessing, but I found it a demo, anyways. It's like it probably wasn't working, anyways. Okay, here's something in here. Oh, okay, your light bulb would probably be in here. That's your light bulb. So was, you could just change this, this, this module if your bulb burns out. 
That's your module. Yeah, I can see light bulb in there. Doesn't look burnt out. Hmm. Okay. Aluminum here. More aluminum. Probably for shielding or something, right? Or shielding. Hmm. So we, we now got a power board here. Which come transformers. Something like another power circuit also here on that side. I don't understand how they said the LCD. How do they figure LCD on this? It doesn't make sense. Oh. Something inside is well, bo the bulb is bulb is shot actually. Broken inside, so the bulb is shot. So the kid was right; needs a bulb. Well, I'll never be able to put this back together, right? <laughs> anyway, it's just uh, looks like it's just going to be a little project here. You might be able to make some of this stuff. The glass lenses. These are optical filters. Oh, there's some more stuff here. Here's another kind of. Uh, hmm. It's got a black square. I guess that's your your frame of your frame. If you look at it, so look at it from here. It's got like a block. So the lens here. I've never seen so many lenses. I want this one out here, but can't get that one out. Okay, let me just remove a few more parts here. And let's see what else we can get out of here because it's just. Um, I want to figure this part here. It looks pretty interesting. Stand by. Okay. I started taking uh, the things apart. You got two fans here, double swirl cage type fans. You also got another fan here, also. So this produces a lot of heat. So here's your um, your lens area. Here's a better look at all these angles. You can see that. You know, the, like the mirrors here, here, mirror, different um, colored lenses. It's like an orange lens versus a clear, off clear, and some ripple type of glass here. I wonder. Pretty bizarre looking, this thing, I'll tell you. If you look at it, there's also little lenses on the side here. And here and there, so I don't know how you could dream of making this thing the way they made that. It's amazing. So your light goes through here. I don't know how your optics work. How does this transfer all the data, the digital data, into uh, all this? So that's like a red lens now. It looks red here. It looks orange there. So how does all this transfer the data? Like it's really bizarre. The technology is amazing. Let me get this off here. Oops. It's definitely not gonna work now. Something else under here, but it just doesn't want to come up for some reason. Like, how do you even repair this? How do you put it together? Never mind repair it. How do you line everything up so that everything fits in here? It's just mind boggling. Okay, here's another power board. So there's two power boards here one here and one here. It's got three transformers, a big capacitor, a couple other capacitors. 
I wonder what these are. More capacitors and then more copper winding, but I thought that would be your main board, but it's not. I don't know how this plastic comes off. Way too many little tight screws and, and little fan, another fan here again. So it's a fan. So we got four fans, five fans in this little unit. I guess it's because since it's plastic, there's such a heat buildup from the light bulb, right? So there's there's cooling with all, all angles. Here's aluminum here also, a shielding. Now it's hard, open to see a little more, but Okay, well, <coughs> excuse me, the gold recovery is not going to be in any of this stuff. This is just a scrap. Gold recovery is ger generally going to be here. So I got another fan here. So how many fans got? Got two here. Four. Yeah, so five fans total in this thing. Two separate power supplies. One could be for the, the actual modules and one is for the lights. I'm not sure what is what, but... So one will power your light bulb, one powers your main board, like this board, that's all electronics and digital, your digital data. But how does the data get projected on to this thing? I just don't, don't understand how. If anybody knows the theory of this, it's too bad. Like how does digital data come through this glass into here? Like they said LCD, so maybe there's an LCD, but I don't see an LCD screen here. Which is kind of strange, you think? So maybe there's an LCD of some sort, projects the light through here somehow, but where's the LCD screen? Unless it's something in here. I mean, there was wire going to here. So could it be these are three little LCD screens, possibly, projecting different colors and then blending into one, or if anybody has an idea. You know, the more, a little more to hear also. Anyways, I've got hunt lots of glass, but I'm happy to get these. These are nice. These lenses here. Those are cool. Okay, I guess it's a wrap on this one. That's all I can show you. That's all I can show you on this one. These are brushless, DC brushless mortars. That's a Toshiba. And what is this one here? DC brushless, to, yeah, Toshiba. But anyways, okay, well, that's it. So if anybody knows the theory of this or where the actual LCDs are, if, it are, if it are these are, I'm thinking these are the ones, but there's nothing really here. These lights, the image of the light goes through here and from all these different angles, they light up each tube, I'm thinking, each LCD screen, and then it gets projected through that way. So probably there's an image here, image, image. And somehow, like, you know how the old um, projectors were? I think there was red, blue, and green. Something like that, or... Anyway, something like three different colors. And they all blended in to make multiple colors, so... That's what I'm thinking. Light through. And it hits this mirror, and that mirror, and that way, and it goes from this way. It lights all the angles up. But anyways, very, very impressive, I'll tell you. If anybody has any other, you know, what's this good for? If any of these uses could be good for anything, put in the comments. Okay, don't forget to subscribe, share, all comments welcome. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.